G'day, welcome to Mount Cranberry Apiculture. It's Tuesday the 19th of March 2024. <coughs> Just a cranber here at this site. Um, I've got a couple of bars of queen cells in this hive. I'm going to um, bring them up out of this second super and put them up in the top just for ease of access. Quite a few hives here that are just duds. Um, they've never got past the four frame nuke stage, so just poorly mated queens or something like that. Um, so I'm gonna go through and put a cell in each of those hives. I'm not gonna kill those old queens. I'm gonna cage them, take them home and use them to start <coughs> making um, some mini mating nukes. So um, they're not gonna go to waste. The, they, they can, they got enough in them to make a few little, little tiny frames of brood. So I'll put them to good use um, and hopefully we'll get some better queens in these hives um, coming into the cooler, cooler period. So let's get started. Let's get down this hive and pull these cells up. Um, beautiful sunny day today after a rainy wet day yesterday. I went into Coffs Harbour and it was just torrential rain so don't think we had as much out here but um, let's hope these bees are behaving themselves today. cell bar here we've had a frame of um, frame of brood open brood a frame of pollen in beside it so let's pull them out and see how they're going they don't look too bad uh, not bad size one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seven eight eighteen nineteen twenty 25, so I've only missed five. A good day. So this is day 10, and these will, will hatch in a couple of days. Let's get them up into this top super. These aren't particularly happy, but I'm surprised considering the, the rain we had yesterday, the nectar would be washed out of the, the flowers around here. So I can go in there and um, nice and accessible for me as I start going through these hives. So I'm getting to this first hive. Um, as expected, the bees aren't terribly happy to see me, but that's um, yeah, it's the way it is. The cells wait for no one, and we just have to get in and do them. Let's get the lid off this fella. See, so, yeah, they've never got past um, a nuke stage. So, yeah, time to call it quits on this queen and get a cell in there and see if the new one can do a bit better. Should it, mate? So, I'll go through this and find our queen. opened up. So I'm going to do it when I've got her in my hand. As you can see it's just not a great brood pattern and they never get past that struggle stage. I can find it quickly. Elusive. 
These could sit around a few days, so I'll get some nice, nice fluffy nurse bees and put in there. One, oh, oh, buddy. one. Trouble seeing here in this patchy, patchy light. Two. Four, five, that'll do. So there's our queen in there. Go and grab a grab a cell. So we've got our cell here. It'll just go in this little protection cage. Sit there. Sit there in there like that. So what I'm gonna do is pull this frame out. safe spot to put that cell. Let's try and get it. Tuck it away in there. Pop him down. Let's push that together. So the idea is just to leave this hive alone for a couple of weeks and come back and recheck. Should have more cells by then as well, so if not queen right again, we'll throw another cell in it. So that's the process. So we do another one here that I've identified as a dud. So as you can see they just haven't progressed past that four frame nuke stage and they've been in here for a couple of months so time to time to do something with them. I'll duck through here and find this queen. I've got our queen cage ready. Mm -hmm. 
I shall shide here, so it's a little bit hard to, hard to see. I'll get down a bit closer. some escorts in there with at home. I'll just go and get a queen cell. There's our cell in its protector. Let's grab this frame. See how it goes. So we one more here. This has been going for months, this thing. It just hasn't done anything. So that's the reason this queen's coming out and the cell's going in. November and we're in March so four months and done nothing. Time to go. Okay, I think they've been trying to replace this queen. May not even be one in here. Let's have a look. See that roar? Closer. Just hear that queenless roar. at all in there. I'm not even, even going to waste a cell on them. I'm just going to um, throw it on another. Just find a strong double over here and throw them on top. Yeah, so the hive next door looks reasonable. Um, they're up, up into a double so yeah, we'll just throw this fella straight on the top. I'm always 
that's banging on about. You don't want to lose the resources in that box. If they're doing no good, shake them out, or whatever you've got to do, but put them on another hive. Don't lose those resources, a small hive beetle. smaller hives here again just to see what the issue is. Even though it's a bit, little bit better than the, the last few I've been looking at, we'll, we'll still put a cell in it and keep this clean. Uh, this is this one that's been um, getting knocked around a bit by beetles so let's um, have a look at this see they've got him and cleaned up all that pollen that was in there let's um, find this queen Yeah, really poor brood pattern and when that queen's failing they backfill it with pollen and um, yeah the beetles had a bit of a crack at it. to see anything in this part shade. I'm taking these out into the sun a little bit for a better look. Definitely a coin in there. Just um, keep going through till we find her. After a long search, I've got this queen. Go up by the wings. Get in that cage. 
down so you can see. And just get a few workers in there. Tiny little hive and took me 15 minutes to find her. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six. So she's off, off to make a mini mating egg. Let's get a cell to put in here. There's our cell to go in. Sitting in a sort of protector there. And let's get it just on the face of the comb there. Pop him in. Push those frames together. back in a couple of weeks to see what happened.